It started with a few hundred people in different parts of Sudan's capital Khartoum, but soon the numbers swelled to thousands. Protesters returning back to the streets to voice their condemnation of a deal signed between the army leader General Abdel Fattah Al Burhan and Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok last month. The agreement came after Burhan led a military takeover in October, placing Hamdok under house arrest for nearly a month. The deal has a lot of things that are vague and can be interpreted in favor of our demands or against it. But the problem is it was signed by someone who doesn't have a right to sign it and someone who doesn't deserve it. Hamduk does not represent those on the street and the military cannot be trusted. The takeover saw the dissolution of the two-year transitional government, which was shared by the military and a civilian coalition known as the Forces of Freedom and Change. They represented the protest movement that led to the overthrow of Sudan's longtime president, Omar al-Bashir. Other regions around the country also came out in protest of the deal, including the state of Kassala in the east, Darfur in the west, and Jazeera state, which neighbors Khartoum. The army can't be part of our government because they are the ones who come and kill us. They can't be the same ones to come and rule us. So we're coming out against the army chief Burhan and his deputy. They should not use their bullets and tear gas on us and our children. Let them use it in war. The army should be in the barracks. If they were wearing civilian clothing, they could have stood with us. Across the Nile, thousands gathered in front of the presidential palace on Monday to voice their anger at the military and the deal. Security forces used tear gas to disperse them. Since the takeover, medical workers say at least 44 people have been killed and nearly 300 injured. Yet more protests are scheduled for the coming days. Many here say they won't stop until their demands for a full civilian government is met to guarantee Sudan's transition to democracy. Hiba Morgan, Al Jazeera, Khartoum.